James showed me a clip of her audition on camera. And he said, I'd just like to know what you think of this. And she was playing the scene and it was very, very good. And then on the clip, she asked the director, could she improvise the scene? And she went into her own version of the scene in a mixture of Spanish and English. And it was one of the most extraordinary bits of audition tape I'd ever seen in my life. It's 2,000 fucking miles. You've been sitting in the back. You could have fucking talked to me this whole time. Shut the fuck up! Mason, Richter, Kid, and Bobby and Charlotte. Who's that? Mason, Richter, Kid, and Bobby. Who, who is that? Who is it? Montana. Montana. What? Montana. What about it? No. Yes. Your mom, she read a lot of stories. Your mom made this up. This is all bullshit. You understand? Yes, I know, I know, I read it, I've seen it. This is a comic book, okay? This is all just fantasies, all just pictures, made up pictures. Yes, oh, okay, I understand. Yes, okay, fine, yeah. This place here, okay, this does not exist. Listen to me. This does not, no existo, Eden, no existo. There is no Eden, you understand? See? No, there Eden. is no Eden, there is no Bobby, there is no Richter, there is none of it. This is all just some big fucking lie. And I know where fucking Montana is, and I'm not taking it there. There are qualities you can't ask of somebody to deliver. A level of strength, a sort of stage presence, and a maturity that still doesn't really make sense to me. That felt like she could do this most difficult thing of, on the one hand, being this emotional kind of co-star with Hugh and, and with Patrick. And on top of that, then also manage the physicality, which is pretty demanding. She was really a remarkable discovery. And she came in for the audition. There's a scene where she punches me in the arm and I went home and I had bruises all over my arm. No offense to all those guys I fought, but I've never gone home with bruises <laughs> until that day.